Hello grade 7 students, welcome to our lesson for today for the fourth grading in science week 1. With the MELC demonstrate how places on earth may be located using a coordinate system. A globe is just a representation of our planet earth. So in a globe there are two different lines. So we have the horizontal line. We call that one the latitude and we also have the vertical lines we call the longitude. But first let's talk about the latitude. So the latitudes have five special names. Okay or we have five latitudes with special names. So we have zero degrees. We, that's the equator. Then we have the 23.5 degrees north, that's the Tropic of Cancer. Then we have the 23.5 degrees south, that's the Tropic of Capricorn. Then we have the 60.5 degrees north, that's the Arctic Circle. And we also have the 60.5 degrees north, uh, 60.5 degrees south, I mean, that's the Antarctic Circle. So now that you know the different names of our latitude, Okay, so basically the five latitudes with special names. So take note of the equator. So this is the center of our globe. So this is the reference line in determining the uh, basis or this is the basis in determining for the northern and the southern hemisphere. When you say northern hemisphere, it is the area of above the equator up to the north pole and when you say the southern hemisphere it is the area below the equator up to the south pole so aside from the horizontal lines as i have said uh, earlier we also have vertical lines which are called the longitude so the starting point for longitude is what we call the primary region. If the starting point for latitude is the equator, the starting point for the longitude is the primary region. So the primary region is here. So it is at zero degrees uh, in the vertical lines. Okay. So the location of the primary region, which is at longitude zero degrees or at Greenwich London United Kingdom so that is the exact location of the primary region the longitude zero degrees okay so just always remember that the primary region is the starting point for the uh, longitude this is the basis for uh, locating the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere so to the right of the primary region is the eastern hemisphere and it is written as 15 degrees east 30 degrees east 45 degrees east and so on and to the left of the primary region we call 15 degrees west 30 degrees west 45 degrees west and so on so again as you can see the primary region is the reference line in determining the uh, longitude and the basis for understanding whether a certain place is uh, found in the eastern hemisphere or at the western hemisphere okay so that's all about the longitude so the figure here okay shows the city near okay so let's locate when you say 15 degrees north so where is 15 degrees north and then we have 120 degrees east so the 15 degrees north is here 120 degrees east is here so we are going to we're going to locate the intersection point so the intersection point which is lingayan okay lingayan so that is the location of Lingayen. Okay, so when you say uh, locate Lingayen, so you are going to write, okay, let's try to, can you write here? We're going to write 15, okay, 15 degrees north, right, comma, 
120 degrees east. So that is how you are going to that is how you are going to give the location of a place. You are going to separate the latitude and the longitude with a comma. Okay? So the location therefore of Lingayen is 15 degrees north and 120 uh, no, you are going not going to see and 15 degrees north, 120 degrees east. That's Lingayen. When you say South China Sea, where is South China Sea? So South China Sea is here. So its location is 15 degrees north. Okay, so still the same. Nandito pa rin siya sa 15 deg uh, degrees north na latitude. And nasa 115 degrees east ang kanyang longitude. Okay, so the location therefore is 15 degrees north, 115 degrees east. That's the location of South China C. And for the Pacific Ocean, nandito si Pacific Ocean. So, ang intersection niya is, okay, nandito po pala si Pacific Ocean. Hindi siya nakapatong sa linya. So, hindi siya umabot sa 15 degrees north. So, pwede siya, ma-estimate natin siya as 13 degrees north. Okay, 13 degrees north. Kasi hindi siya umabot sa 15 degrees north. So, nandito lang siya. So, 13 degrees north. Then, Okay, hindi rin siya pumatong sa 125 degrees east. So, nandito siya before sa 125. So, approximately 124 degrees east. So, yan ang location ni Pacific Ocean. Okay, dito tayo sa exercises. So, using the Asian map here, you are going to answer some questions. So, number one. What body of water is found at 18 degrees north, 65 degrees east? So, 18 degrees north is nasaan siya? So, let's just put a pen, a label here. Okay, so that's approximately 18 degrees north. Then, 65 degrees east is, of course, in between siya sa 60 degrees east at 70 degrees east. So, lagyan lang natin ng uh, broken line to denote na mag-intersect yung uh, body of water na na-intersect nila is yung answer natin. Okay? So, yung answer po pala sa number one is yung one body of water is found at 8 degrees north, 65 degrees, ang answer is Arabian Sea. Okay? Kayo na pong bahala sa number 2, 3, 4, 5 questions. Napakadali lang naman ito. Okay? So, punta na tayo sa part 2 ng exercises natin. So, you're going to fill in the blanks to complete the sentence by choosing your answer from the word box. So, Philippines can be found at approximately... So, yung Philippines natin, i-ano lang ninyo, i... i uh, what's this? Ganito ang gawin ninyo, okay? You're going to do the broken line. So, Philippines is somewhere here. So... Nandito siya. So, more above siya sa 10 degrees north. So, then, nasaan ang kanyang, okay? So, basically, more than din siya sa, uh, what's this? Uh, 120. So, basically, nandito po pala ang location ni uh, Philippines sa 12 degrees north. Okay? Mm -hmm. No, no, not, not there. 12 degrees north. Okay, I need to see Philippines. And 122 degrees east. Sorry, 12 degrees north, 122 degrees east. And you can do the remaining questions. You can answer the remaining questions. Then for the assessment, encircle the letter of the best answer. So, which of the following items is used to locate places in a world map? So, of course, the our discussion, the intersection of the latitude and the longitude. Then, 2, 3, 4, 5, kayo nang bahala sa answer dyan. So, for item 6 to 10 in your assessment, so you're going to use the Philippine map here. Number 6 question, what is the approximate coordinate of celibacy? Okay, what is the approximate coordinate of celibacy? So, in... 
in locating a place or uh yes you are going to first look at the latitude so it's at five degrees north then it's in between when after look looking at the latitude look this time in the longitude part so take note Longitude, the horizontal, the vertical, no vertical lines, vertical varog, okay, sa bisaya pa. So take note, it's in between 120 degrees east and 125 degrees east. So upon looking at the choices, yung letter B is five degrees north, then 123 degrees east. So very easy, ito yung answer agad-agad. In between kasi yung longitude sa 120 at saka 125. So, among the choices, yung in between is 123 degrees is. So, yun ang answer. Kayo nang bahalang mag-answer sa 7 to 10. Um, correction sa number 8, yung option A, instead of 5, make it 7. 7 degrees north. Okay? Okay, so itong Asian map na nakita ninyo is for items 11 to 15 sa assessment nyo. So, for example, number 11, the question is, what is the approximate coordinate of Japan? So, Japan is here. So, tingnan nyo, in between si Japan sa 30 degrees north and 40 degrees north na latitude. So, uh, upon looking at the choices, yung between 30 and 40 is letter C. So, automatic letter C yung answer. Napakadali lang naman mag uh, locate ng answer kapag ganito, no? Kapag ganito. So, tingnan rin natin yung la longitude. So, in between 130 and 140 uh, dig uh, degrees east siya, pero hindi siya umabot sa 140 degrees east. So, talagang 137 degrees east lang. Okay? So, yung location po pala ni Japan is 36 degrees north, 137 degrees east. That is letter C in the choices. Then, for Mongolia, okay, for Mongolia, again, in locating a place class, you look at the latitude first. Okay, dito, latitude, yung mga linya na, uh, what's this? Horizontal, okay? So, Mongolia is between 40 degrees north, 50 degrees north latitude. So, upon looking at the choices, so, itong 48 degrees north, ang nakapasa, no? Between 40 degrees north and 50 degrees north lat degrees north latitude. And for looking at the longitude niya, between 100 degrees east and 110 degrees east, yung nakapasa is yung 109 degrees east. So, letter D yung answer. Then for Yemen, nandito si Yemen, and si Sri Lanka, kayo nang bahala, and si Taiwan. So, napakadali lang naman ito. So, nandito na naman Asian map. So, ito is uh, gagamitin niyo sa suggested enrichment or reinforcement activity. Na kung saan, you are going to choose three countries uh, here where you want to go on vacation. Then, find its coordinates by using the Asian, yes, this map. Okay, Asian map. So, for example, you want to go to Singapore. So, the location is, okay, basically, nandito siya sa 5 degrees north and yung longitude niya is 105 degrees east. So, yan lang. Napakadali lang naman. Okay, so I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson discussion today. So, this is once again a small turbo. Bye-bye!